Here we have the contacts tab or contact list. Here you can find all the contacts and new leads that we get in system.io. So if a contact or anyone who uses one of our forms, uh, it could be a form from a funnel or a form that we have in our blogs, they get saved on this list. So the information that you're going to find here is, first of all, the date in which the contact was added to the list. Then we see their email address and the tag the contact has. If you notice here, the email address is actually clickable. So when we click on it, we are redirected to the contact page. And here we can find all the information we have about the contact. First of all, you're going to see the name and the email address. You could also see the contact's affiliate ID, and you could also unsubscribe the contact from any marketing emails if you no longer want to send them any emails in the future. You can see the date and time when the contact was added to the list, and also you can see the page that the contact used to get added to the list. In this example, my contact used a webinar registration page, so if you actually click on the page, you're going to be able to see the editor for the page. So as you can see, the contact used this form in order to subscribe and then he was added to the list. Another feature that you will find here in the contact tab is that you can add a contact manually to the list. So all you need to do is click on the button, create contact, and then here you just need to add the information that is required for the contact. So the only necessary and mandatory information that you need to have is the email address. Uh, you cannot add a contact without the email address. Then you're just going to fill the rest of the information if you have it. And you can even select the tags that you want your new contact to have. Tags are really important for your list management within system because there are these segmenting tools that will help you organize your contacts and make your email marketing efforts so much easier. So as you can see with the example, we just choose this one and save. And now our contact is added to the list, as you can see here. Another feature that is really important, especially for new users that might be coming from another platform and want to continue using their own list here in system.io is the import contacts feature. So once you click and import contacts, you're going to find information that's really important to read and understand because we do have certain rules in order to keep the good deliverability for our users. So after reading the rules, the user chooses the file to import. It must be a CSV file. For example, let's choose this file right here. And then after the file is uploaded, you should choose the type of delimiter. It really depends on the file that you have, but it's usually a coma. So for this one, let's use the coma. And then just organize the information accordingly. So the first name goes with the first name and email goes with the email column. And then you can click import. And that's it. As you can see right here, the list has been imported. In this example, there was just one new contact on the list just for the example. But if you had a bigger list, this would be very convenient because you won't have to add your contacts manually. So as you import your list, you're going to see your, your contacts here. And you would also be able to see all the contacts that are being added to your list on your main dashboard.